this demonstration, I'm going to show you how I cut down my watercolor paper to size using two tools, a 2H pencil and this heavy duty steel L frame ruler. And I've had this for years and it's quite a beast, but this is uh, what works for me. Of course, you could use an X-Acto knife or utility knife and um, and a straight edge as well, but you want an edge that's thick enough if you're going to be cutting with the uh, utility knife. Otherwise, I'm just using this ruler and I'm going to tear. Now, I'm working with 140 pound um, rag paper, but if you're working with 300 pound paper, it's too stiff and you will need to cut it with a utility knife. Now, the unfortunate thing with um, this lovely artist quality paper is there's a watermark in both corners and that's not something that I want to be apparent in the finished product. So I have to cut that off and that generally, um, the watermark is quite large, it's almost two inches. So that gives me quite a lot of loss on the size of the, the paper. So some of it could be hidden under a, a mat board if you're framing it. But uh, generally speaking, I want to measure from the edge that does not have the watermarks. Obviously with 20 inches, it exceeds my 16 inch edge. So I'm going to measure using the long side here. So I'm just going to mark 20 inches here. I'm just putting a little notch and then I'm gonna flip this over and do the same thing on the opposing side just lining up my long edge because I need the length on this side of the ruler to accommodate the 20 inch length. And I'm just using the short edge to line it up to make sure that my tear is going to be nice and square and 90 degrees. So looking for the 20 inch mark here, put another little notch and then I'll do the remaining side just to ensure that I'm tearing straight. So one last time, marking my short or lining my short edge up with the edge of the paper and marking 20 inches on this side as well. So I'm well below the watermark here and the watermark on this side is way over here. So I'm okay. So I'm going to have a nice, square piece that does not have a watermark on it. So here I go. I'm since I've already got this lined up and square. Just double check. I'm, I'm going to press firmly on this edge and I want to pay particular attention to how I start the tear. I want to make sure that the corner piece here is um, really, first of all, squared up with the paper, but that I'm applying the most pressure on that corner and begin my tear. And I can just move my hand down the ruler to make sure each time I tear that I've got firm pressure. If I don't have firm pressure, the tear of the paper will slip under the ruler. So make sure you're sliding your hand down each time. And finally, I'm at the last part and you can see my hand is overlapping the paper once again. Um, so I'm pressing hard and it's that easy and I create this beautiful torn deckled edge. So I'll just flip this around to make the tear a little easier. I like to tear towards my body. So line this up on the flat edge, double check the notches, press firmly, especially at the start of that tear. Keep moving my hand down, finish the tear with overlapping my hand so that the pressure is off the paper to ensure even pressure. That's it. So I've got a 20 by 20 piece of paper. And you can see that when you tear, you end up with this beautiful deckled edge. So that's how I like to tear my paper. I hope that this tutorial was helpful to you. For the complete list of art tutorials that I have available, 
visit my website, www.crystalbashera.com slash shop videos, or you can check out the vimeo.com slash channels slash art tutorials website. Thanks for watching everybody and happy painting as always. See you the next time.